All right, so I'm really excited to start this brand new series on React. You guys asked for it, so I reacted with this series. And like anything in this life, when you start, you need to have a setup. So that's what we're going to do. Installation, setup, understanding the folder structure, and building our first project. And welcome to Texted Tutorials. Alright, before you get started, you need two things. Uh, you need a computer, obviously, and you need npm install on your computer, um, the latest version of Node Package Manager. And then go to command line and run this command npm install dash g create react app. Now let's understand what this is. So npm install is obviously um, a command to install a package. So create react app as a package. So it's like a command line a react, just like Angular has it, Ember has it, um, react people created it. And dash g means install it globally, means, means you can access, you can create project on any directory and it will be available to you. So it's installing globally on your computer. Once you do that, it will take a few minutes, so wait and watch. Once you have it, you can use it by typing this, create react dash app, and then the name the project. So I'm going to name it my dash beautiful react react app. I can choose whatever name I want. And again, it will take a few minutes. It might take more than a few minutes because it has to grab all the files, whatever it needs to build this app from wherever it needs to grab it from. So just be patient. All right, so it's done. It has built you a beautiful React app for you. But before you execute it, you need to actually go into the project because it built the folder and it copied all the files and everything. But you need to go inside the folder so if you do cd and my beautiful react app and enter now you are inside so i use atom so i'm gonna use my editor so i can say atom dot when i do that it would open this project in atom all right so i have this project but let's just before get into the the folder structure let's just execute this thing you know so we know what, what it produced so i'll go back to the command line and i would say npm start and it will open in a browser localhost colon 3000 so on the 3000 port it opens and you can see the welcome react and it has this react logo that is constantly keep moving so voila you have your first project all right so now that we know how what it does let's look at how it does it so if i go back to the folder structure the first thing i want to do is look at the package.json because that's where the magic happens um, and again i want you to not just look at this as hey i did something rather just hey i want to understand every darn thing in this project so you want to look at line by line everything and how exactly it works so if you're confused about something then you should be curious why it does what it does why this this line added here and if you're not curious then it's a problem so let's look at i may not go through everything but again you should do it whenever you start this new project don't move it without doing this exercise all right so the package.json you have the name of the app my beautiful react app so it already has that there's a version a zero point you know you can call it beta or something all right um, then you have dependencies you have it brought three files basically with it 
it has the major main react which is 6.1.0 it has react dome and it has react script so it actually loaded three files three packages should i say and it has a bunch of shortcuts for script so remember when we ran npm start this is where it's coming from so you can run any script on that is defined inside the package.json by saying npm and the script name so here the script name is start so it ran that and what actually it ran is react script start which is coming from this react script and you can build your project using npm build which would run npm script build actually so this is just a short command npm build but ultimately it runs the react script build and if you want to run the test you can do the same thing all right so now that we know what happens in package.json let's move on to the main stuff when you have a project you need to ask where is my index.html in the public here's my index.html what does it have it has a doc type it has a bunch of meta set it has some links but the, the main thing is here id equal to root this is the main thing you need to know the another important thing index.js now it is a small file what it does it imports those packages that we looked at in packet.json so it imports the main react uh, react dom and it also imports css which is coming from here index css and it imports the the main app component which is here and what it does it's this is the most important thing it says react dom which is this guy and it will render uh, wherever you have this id remember we looked at the index or html has this id called root so so index.js is going to say wherever i find this id i want to render this app component now let's look at the app component so app component is nothing but this app js so let's understand app.js which is the component that it renders and if I look go back to my browser what it had rendered is this logo welcome to react and it says to get started at a source app.js and save and reload right so that's what we're gonna do um, so it has this header which has a logo which is an image here app logo and it says welcome to react so first thing I'm gonna do is instead of react I'm just going to say welcome to my beautiful react app and save it and as soon as I save it it would auto load this project and it would say welcome to my beautiful react remember the objective is to play around with it break stuff if you break stuff and if something doesn't work that's fine just create another app but you need to get your hand dirty break stuff and understand in the process what is happening and if as much as you break in the early stage better you become and solid your knowledge will be so don't try to walk on a safe side by saying, if I touch here, I don't know what's going to happen, so I'd rather not touch. Okay, so, but we changed it, but let's understand what is exactly, what exactly it's doing. So in order to build any component, you would need this. First of all, you wouldn't need React and you would need component. And then it basically does two things. It would import it and in the end it would export something so for what is going to export is class app so that's the name of the component that is going to export and here you can see export default app if you know how the the module import and export works all right so the in, inside this it has this function called a render uh, which returns this html looking code which is really not HTML. This is called JSX. Uh, this is a special React thing you won't see anywhere else. Only React users. That's why it doesn't have template. 
Like Angular has JS file and template file. In React, you have JSX. So it's like you are including mixing JavaScript and HTML. So you won't write really in HTML. You pretty much write everything in JSX, which looks like HTML, but it's not really HTML because of, you see here the class name, which actually gets converted into the normal class. So if, and I should see class app header. But here it says class name app header. So what it does, it takes this J JSX and it converts into, it basically outputs some HTML and it would convert class name into classes. And that's how it works. And we'll look at this in more in detail in subsequent tutorials. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run some tests. So for every component, you have to have a test, which is no brainer if you work in a larger project. So app.test.js, it's automatically created, created for you. And it's just a simple test basically, which makes sure that it renders without crashing. It's no brainer, right? So let's run it. So if I go back here and I can say NPM test and it ran the test. It says here renders without crashing has passed one pass, one total. I'm assuming everything passed. Everything is green. So, all right. So that's about it. Uh, it's a first tutorial. So let's keep it simple. Practice, 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 break it, fix it. And in the next tutorial, we are going to learn about JSX. And I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to like, 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 like. Okay, like, subscribe, and provide a constructive comment. C constructive comment. Thank you.